subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Music made from data from faraway galaxies to the gene that allows rabbits and kangaroos to hop. These are some of the stories we talk about on this edition of Scientifix. Scientists have converted astronomical data collected by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and other telescopes into sounds, creating some mesmerizing musical pieces. Data sonification maps allow us to hear the data instead of only visualizing it, without changing the original content. The data sonification maps were created for three images. The first is the deepest image ever taken in X-rays. The observed field is in the southern hemisphere. Although at first glance the image may appear to be a view of stars, almost all of these different colored dots are black holes or galaxies. Most of the former are supermassive black holes that reside at the center of the galaxies. In this data sonification, the colors dictate the tones as the bar moves from the bottom of the image to the top. Colors towards the red end of the rainbow are heard as low tones, while colors towards purple are assigned to higher ones. The wide range of musical frequencies represents the full range of X-ray frequencies collected by Chandra of this region. In the visual color image, this large frequency range in X-rays had to be compressed to be shown as red, green and blue for low, medium and high energy X-rays. The stereo position of the sounds can help distinguish the position of the sources from left to right. The second image that was sonified was the cat's eye nebula. When a star like the sun begins to run out of helium to burn, it will blow off a huge cloud of gas and dust. This structure is called the nebula. This image of the cat's eye contains both X-rays from Chandra around the center and visible light data from the Hubble Space Telescope which show the series of bubbles expelled by the star over time. To listen to these data, there is a radar-like scan that moves clockwise. Light that is further from the center is heard as higher pitches, while brighter light is louder. The X-rays are represented by a harsher sound, while the visible light data sounds a lot smoother. The circular rings create a constant hum, interrupted by few sounds from spokes in the data. The third piece of music is made from data from a galaxy known as M51. The sonification begins at the top and moves radially around the image in a clockwise direction. Each wavelength of light in the image obtained from the NASA telescopes in space is assigned to a different frequency range. Back on Earth, scientists have found that octopuses switch between two major states while sleeping and may even experience something akin to dreams. It has been long known that octopuses change color while they sleep. But now, a study has found that these changes in color are characteristic of two major alternating sleep states, an active sleep stage and a quiet sleep stage. Until now, it was thought that only mammals and birds had two sleep states. However, recently, some reptiles have also been found to show non-REM and REM sleep. A REM-like sleep state was reported also in cuttlefish, which led researchers from Brazil to wonder whether they might see evidence of two sleep states in octopuses too. The team captured video recordings of octopuses in the lab and found that during quiet sleep, the animals were still and quiet, with pale skin and eye pupils contracted to a slit. However, during active sleep, the animal dynamically changes their skin color and texture. They also move their eyes while contracting their suckers and body with muscular twitches. The cycle would repeat at about 30 to 40 minute intervals. The findings raise the possibility that octopuses experience something similar to dreaming. However, it is not possible to ascertain this since an octopus cannot talk to us. But during active sleep, the octopus experiences a state analogous to REM sleep, which is the state during which humans dream the most. The researchers said that these dreams in octopuses should be more like small video clips or GIFs. 
For the first time, scientists from China have found that an insect known as white fly incorporated DNA from plants into its own genome in order to be able to degrade common toxins plants use to defend themselves against insects. This DNA jump that took place millions of years ago allows the white fly to feed on plants safely. The gene BTPMAT1 is not found in any other insect species. Scientists believe that plants probably use BTPMAT1 within their own cells to store their noxious compounds in a harmless form so that the plant does not poison itself. The team reveals that roughly 35 million years ago, white flies stole this defense gene, granting the insect the ability to detoxify these compounds for themselves. The team proposes that a virus within the plant may have taken up this gene and after ingestion by a white fly, the virus must have done something inside the insect, causing the gene to get integrated into the white fly's genome. White flies have become a major agricultural pest worldwide as they are able to attack at least 600 different species of plants. Using this knowledge, the researchers developed a small molecule that interferes with white fly's BTPMAT1 gene making the white fly susceptible to the plant's toxic compounds. In other news from the field of genetics, scientists have identified the gene that rabbits and other hopping animals require to jump. Rabbits, hares, kangaroos and some rodent species all travel by jumping. But this type of movement is not well understood at the molecular and genetic level. So, a team of researchers investigated jumping related genes using an unusual breed of domesticated rabbits called the Sauter d'Alfort. Instead of hopping, it has a strange gait where it lifts its back legs and walks on its front paws. By breeding these rabbits with another breed and comparing the offspring's genomes and jumping abilities, the researchers identified the cause of this developmental defect. They identified a specific gene mutation which leads to a sharp decrease in the number of neurons in the spinal cord that produces a protein RORP. This change is responsible for the rabbit's weird walk. The new study demonstrates that a functional RORB gene is necessary for rabbits and likely other hopping animals to perform their characteristic jumping gait. The findings build on previous studies in mice showing that animals that lack the RORB gene had a duck-like walk. Additionally, this work advances our understanding of the different ways that animals with backbones move. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.